Hi guys, it's Crystal here for Talk To Me Tuesday. I tried recording this yesterday and I don't know, my videos just didn't work out so I'm trying yet again. It's always bad when you do multiple takes, I find, because you forget what you've talked about <laughs> in which version and then you think you've said something but you haven't or you like continue a thought that began elsewhere but hopefully I can manage this. So um, it's been a while again. So I've... I'm having like one of those I can't finish anything but I'm working on stuff sort of things. Which I mean I guess that's not totally true. I have finished a few things. Um, I did finally start making friggin masks. I haven't made all the ones I need to make or want to make but um, this was one of my first tests was just like this style. Um, I've tried a few different straps. I don't really love this strap option. It's one that hooks over your ear and then you tie it around in the back. Um, what I don't like about this one is, um, whoops, see if I can get this on. Um, I find it like this one when you tie it up, it leaves like gaps on the side. Um, the top you can adjust a bit, but I don't like the bits here very much. Um, the kind that I do like is a style like this, which is, um, a strap that goes across the back and then you just tighten it up and tie the string at the bottom. For whatever reason having that two different points of um, like having the straps in two different parts of your head somehow seems to make it more adjustable I find. However that being said I don't actually like this style of mask. I'm not sure why because there's the same number of layers in this one as there is in this one but I find this one um, this particular one feels claustrophobic somehow in a way that this one doesn't so I've been making these. I'm only making basically two each for four different family members and myself and a friend of my sister's so I need to make 12. I've so far done three. So black for my dad, aqua for my mom, purple for my little sister. I need to do um, some for my older sister who I live with and then also for a friend of my sister's and then that being done that's it I'm out on tapping out on um, mask making um, the other thing that I've finished is actually a bunch of little zipper pouches my favorite little pattern to make um, these ones I used all Liberty of London fabrics and um, they're all for a giveaway so these four will be hit in the mail sometime this week and going off to their new homes. Um, I think they're cute. I always love this little pattern although I need to re, um, <laughs> re square or re-round the bottom because I think I've trimmed some of the plastic off of my plastic template and it's not so round anymore but that's okay. Uh, so there's that and then the rest of everything has just been a lot of like little bits and pieces so um, on the wall behind me I've had since January this nine patch project it's nine patches and um, snowball blocks and then just blank squares and I finally started piecing it together I've got four rows pieced and joined which is what this is and then behind me is four more rows that are pieced together but not joined yet and then I think I have six more rows after that and then that top will be done. The big hope with this is to get it quilted by January. Oh, that was a bad noise. Um, that was my chair rubbing against the table beside me. Um, anyway, the, the hope with this one is to get it done by January because it was a challenge from Kim Lepasek. She does project quilting on Instagram if you've ever seen that and this year she also decided to do like a scrap challenge so each month she gives you like a certain block and if you want to you make a full size quilt using however many of that block as you want but it has to hit a certain quilt size and um, and then you have to finish it all the way to binding like it has to be 100% done um, and then you can enter whatever and she probably has draws or something she usually does draws with things I don't actually remember I just like the um, I, I like nine patches and I had a pattern which I think is called like scraggly bits or something like that and so I thought why not I have millions and millions of scraps so that is all blue and 
blue and green scraps from my scrap bin, which somehow never empties no matter how much I use. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Hopefully, hopefully I can get the top put together soonish, but we have a lot of upheaval at my house right now, so I don't know if that's going to happen. We're getting the basement finished, and then um, once the basement's finished, they're going to tear out all the flooring and baseboards and trim on the main floor and the upstairs so um, and replace those. So <laughs> everything that's upstairs eventually is going to have to kind of go downstairs in time for them to do whatever, you know, the flooring and all that stuff. So it's going to be a lot of work. And then after that, I'm actually going to keep my sewing room in the basement. So I'll have a bigger space and my bedroom will be down there, which will also be bigger than my rooms up here. So I'll just have more room and a little more privacy. Although to be honest, we don't have a real problem with privacy, but you know, it'll be nice. Um, anyway, in the meantime, it might mean that I really don't finish anything for the summer or for however long this whole process takes. It's all going a lot faster than I somehow imagined it would, but it's not like I know what it takes to do things. It's all kind of funny too because of the COVID-19 thing, because part of the city permits to do the work has to do with like how many people can be on site and in what proximity and da 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 da. It's all very, uh, yeah, it's just like an extra complication on everything, I guess. But anyway, other things that I've been working on is I went back to working on these um, modern HST block of the month blocks. So this was from last year. This was 2019's. I might have shown you this block already, but I don't really remember, so I'm showing it again, potentially. I know this one is new, though, since my last video. And after this, I think I have four more blocks to go, and then I can piece that into a top. And then this year's more modern HST block of the month. Um, I hadn't done April, so I finally did April and May both. I'm not sure anymore which one is which. I think this one is April. And then I think this one here is May. Um, and then the rest of them are up on the, the wall behind me somewhere. And I guess that's it. I, uh, I have been doing, my sister's been doing a lot of stitching. We're both working, but she's been doing a lot of stitching in her downtime, so she keeps getting me to press things. So these are her two newest, um, what does that one say? I heart stiff drinks. I'm not sure if there's too much light behind it. And then that one here, she's done a few other zombie ones recently as well. I still need to press those. And then I guess my other big thing is because we have all this upheaval at home, I thought, why not join a summertime block of the month? So I decided to do the summer sample, summer sampler, which is hosted by um, Lee, Lee someone, Lee Heinrich. Um, I can't remember what her blog is called, but oh, freshly pieced. And also somebody called Katie, I think, from Swim Bike Quilt, and then, or maybe she's from Fresh Lemon Quilts. I forget, there's three of them, but, oh, Faith, Katie, and Lee are the three people's names. And then um, they had a whole bunch of designers design blocks this year, so each Monday there will be a new block for the next 16 weeks, and I probably won't be able to keep up more than the first week or two, but, um, you know, why not buy a whole big stack of fabric and start a giant project? in the middle of upheaval, right? Why not? Um, anyway, that's it from me. I hope everybody's doing great and I look forward to watching your videos. Bye.